Intel has officially announced they are changing their processor branding, dropping their eyes like an awkward teenager asking the popular girl to prom. Riley, do you wanna come to prom? It me, Riley. This is TechLinked, and you may not be bothered by Intel's new Core and Core Ultra branded chips yet, but you will be. You will be. Intel hinted to The Verge that Core Ultra chips will have bigger feature sets, arc level integrated graphics, AI capabilities, and even the absolute best performance. That's right, you name a buzzword and the Ultra has it. This isn't the only change, as we referenced earlier, their iconic tier numbers like i7 and i9 are becoming a much less Apple-like seven and nine. Introducing Phone 15 Pro, imagine. Christopher Hirsch, Intel's director of product branding, says the question is no longer, am I an i7 guy? Am I an i9 guy? It's now, are you an ultra buyer or are you a core buyer? <sighs> Might as well go to the flea market. What a bizarre joke. <laughs> I guess the eyes kept away the non-guys. Well, that's a surprise. All right, we're rhyming. It's too early for rhyming. And the branding change gets even worse. Intel will now put the processor number after the word processor, meaning the company expects customers to speak sentences like, hello, I would like to buy an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor 1070K, which was an awful physical experience for my mouth just now. The changes will take effect with the launch of Meteor Lake later this year, so enjoy the mouthfeel of Intel's current branding while you still can. Twitch is introducing Partner Plus, a program that will allow anyone to earn 70% of their subscription revenue, with several notable caveats. First of all, by anyone, Twitch means anyone with 350 recurring subscriptions for a period of at least three consecutive months. That should have been obvious, but... Which is kind of like saying, hey, anyone can win the lottery. Yeah, technically it's true, but you're more likely to get hit by lightning and run over by a car on the way to buy the ticket. Know your limit, play within it, I did not. Especially since Twitch Prime subscriptions and gift subscriptions, arguably the most common types of subscriptions, don't count towards the 350 sub goal. But once you achieve it for those three months, you are automatically enrolled in Partner Plus for the next 12 months until you hit the $100,000 cap. Don't get too rich. <laughs> no <Na> cap. <laughs> On God. Yes, okay. Naturally, the reactions to this announcement have been mixed. Longtime streamer Harris Heller was expressing his consternation with Twitch's monetization. Okay, I'll accept it. Enough now. When Seth Hendricks, the creative and editorial director of Twitch, literally entered the chat to tell Heller that he didn't think Heller was wrong, per se. He just had so many assumptions that are so way off. Poor Hendrix couldn't figure out that's the same thing, which might explain why Twitch has made so many poor decisions recently. They don't know what words mean. Hendrix proceeded to spend 10 minutes spamming the chat to the point where a fed up Heller finally tried to ban Hendrix, only to find out you can't ban Twitch employees? So he just ended the stream. Because at Twitch, we believe that interfering with your ability to make money on our platform requires a personal touch. We'll come screw up your stream personally. And the EU parliament has approved comprehensive regulation to the region's battery market to make it a battery market. The legislation, which comes from a proposal made over two years ago, is meant to ensure batteries can be repurposed, remanufactured, or recycled once all the battery juice has been squeezed out. One of the big changes for consumers will be that device manufacturers must design batteries so users can themselves easily remove and replace them instead of having to send your phone to some blue-shirted group of jerks that call themselves geniuses because they think they're better than you. Other changes include requiring EV batteries to declare their carbon footprint and eventually giving them a fancy digital battery passport starting in 2026 that will hold information on the battery model, such as what? Cars don't have feet. What? Footprint? Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. <laughs> it's no. way too slow. Such as which side is its best side for taking photos? That would be a passport photo joke if you didn't take passport photos face forward. <laughs> the passport will also contain information specific. 
The Passport will also contain information specific to the individual battery and its use. But before this all becomes actual law, the EU Council will need to formally endorse the text before its publication in the EU official journal shortly after and its entry into force. Like Obi-Wan. Or in American, still cooking, the dinger ain't gone off yet. <laughs> now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by The Ridge. Are you someone who is always on the go? Oh, slow down. The Ridge wallet is perfect for you. Its compact and slim design allows you to carry your essential cards and cash without weighing you down. With RFID blocking technology, your cards are protected from digital theft. The Ridge wallet is made from high quality materials like titanium, carbon fire, carbon fire. Which is all fire. Arguably. I wish carbon fiber and aluminum, ensuring its durability. Upgrade your everyday carry with the Ridge Wallet and enjoy the freedom of a minimalist lifestyle. Trust me, it's great. It's so small, it should have been called a smidge. Check them out at the link below and use the code LINKED at checkout for free worldwide shipping and 10% off your purchase. Jacob would love to write our smaller stories as little songs and call them quick hits, but Linus said we don't have the budget. Don't even get me started on licensing fees. It's a whole mess. CEO of Reddit Steve Huffman, aka Huff Huff Pass, is standing firm on the platform's controversial API changes. Huffman has stated that Reddit was never designed to support third-party apps, despite doing exactly that for 10 years already. Based on my personal experience, Reddit also wasn't designed to support first-party apps. <laughs> Oh, oh, despite stating that they wouldn't unilaterally reopen communities that are closed for the protest, Reddit has implied that moderators of protesting subreddits may be replaced to keep the site open and accessible to users. Not exactly a moderate response. And that's what the users want. I mean, look at all these incredibly recent one word, five star reviews. We're not saying Reddit is paying for these reviews, but if they are, they aren't buying enough. Their average is still 3.6. Steam has received a major update looking even better than my mom did when I took her to prom. That's sweet. It's been given a bunch of new features, including a cloud-based notes function and the ability to pin windows in game, which even allows you to watch movies while you play. Of course, the biggest improvements are in the back end, since there's new shared code base between Steam desktop, big picture mode, and-, and even bigger booty. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> and Steam Deck. Just like a rom-com makeover, the most important change happens on the inside. That's, that she's all that. Turns out Matthew McConaughey isn't an <laughs> A group of 17 music publishers in the US has sued Twitter for allegedly enabling copyright violations. What, how? Apparently the platform was in talks to license music rights before Elon Musk bought the platform and fired 75% of its staff, bringing new meaning to the phrase, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> A phrase everyone knows. <clears throat> Another new change is the platform has been evicted from one of their offices in Boulder, Colorado after failing to pay rent. Speech may be free to Twitter, but real estate? <laughs> It's not, so. Japanese company Astroscale plans on offering a space cleanup service that will remove defunct satellites from Earth's orbit. And no, this is not actually an indie game that just launched on Steam. It's an opportune time since both the FCC and the World Economic Forum seem to agree that space operators should dispose of their unused equipment within five years following end of mission. You got five years, is that fair? <laughs> just throw it in the garbage. Down from 25. It can stay on the ground for five years and then it's ridiculous. In an animation, Astroscale shows how their Elsa M servicer, Frozen fans, will decay the or- <laughs> Let it go, Riley. I can't. Will decay the orbits of dead satellites, causing them to crash towards Earth and burn up in the atmosphere, in what must be the most violent implementation of the KonMari method, which is the Marie Kondo, spark joy, et cetera, that's what you- This one does not spark joy. <laughs> <laughs> and Diablo 4 players have yet to find the game's secret cow level, which has featured in every other entry in the franchise. Developers at Blizzard have suggested this may be because the level does not exist. Maybe, maybe it's not there, guys. Despite the disappointing news from Blizzard, hopeful gamers believe the company is just trying to mislead them and prevent them from fully enjoying their game, which seems to be Blizzard's job. Honestly, it's perfectly believable since Blizzard had personally sucked the fun out of every other one of their IPs at least once. That's the secret to keeping things fresh. Regular doses of disappointment. Sucking IPs. <laughs> it's called subverting expectations. The sequel sucked and now you appreciate what we give you, okay? 
I'm talking about Star Wars. <laughs> but you won't be disappointed if you come back on Monday for more tech news. We're very excited to reveal that Monday's episode will feature someone standing in front of a camera trying desperately to be funny while they talk about tech news. <laughs>